Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about collaborating with others on writing code. Writing good code is a risky business, especially when you're trying to collaborate with other people on the same code base. One way to collaborate with other folks is to have a common GitHub repository and add code to that. But we probably don't want to edit code directly in that repository. So I'm going to show you a technique called forking, which is really good for collaborating and it adds a layer of safety to writing your code. Here I've logged into my GitHub account and I'm going to go to this other GitHub account. Microsoft has a GitHub account and it's there's a project in there called NL Web. NL Web is an open source project that'll accept contributions so I can work on it here if I want to. Um, but I don't want to work directly in this repository. By the way, I'd, I'd recommend checking this out. It's a pretty cool tool for creating, adding natural language chat capabilities to a website. But that's not really important to this video. What I want to do is I want to show you how I can collaborate with them. And the way I do that is rather than editing directly the code here in this repository, I want to create my own copy of that code in my repository. And that process of creating my own copy of that code in my repository is called forking. And you'll notice right up here there's a button that says fork. And if I click on that, it brings up this dialog right here. And from this dialog, I can select uh, the owner, which is defaulting to me right here because I've signed in early. But if you have multiple accounts, you can just select which one you want. And then I give that repository a name. By default, it'll be the same name as in this current repository, in this case, NL Web. Uh, but you can change it if you want to. I like to leave it the same because then it's a reminder of exactly where this came from. But you can't change that. The only rule is that uh, a re every repository within a given account must have a unique name. You can add a re uh, description here. There's already a description here defaulted to that here, but you can change that if you want to. And here we have an option to copy only the main branch or to copy every single branch within here. Now, I only want to watch the main branch, so I'll leave that checked right here, and that's it. Click this Create Fork button. It will create a copy of that entire repository in my GitHub account, and it'll even open up for us. So now here I am. I'm no longer the Microsoft account. I'm now in David Giard, and I'm in a repository called NLWeb. If I go back over to my account here and look at repositories, you'll see it's now listed here as well. So here it is. Now I can do whatever I want with this. I can change this code. I can bring it down to my local machine. I can edit it within this. Maybe I want to do something like uh, go into this readme file and edit it directly into here. Change, you know, remove that space right there. Commit those changes back. It's all good right here. I'm not affecting that original repository. I am only affecting my branch, my fork of the repository, my copy of that repository in my own account. Once I've made all of the changes that I want to, I can then request that my changes be merged back into the original repository. I want to merge my forked changes with the original repo. And the way I do that was with something called a pull request. A request is a, a pull request is a request to merge my changes with the original code. And the way that I do that is in here that you see in my repository I have a pull requests option up at the top. And here I can create a brand new pull request by clicking that button. I need to sign in first. And then I say create pull request. Here it shows me all my changes. I only had one simple change. I removed a space. Create pull request. I can add a title to it. I can add a description. And then I'll say create pull request. This button right here. And it's not going to merge automatically because this repository has rules on it that require that there's a review being done from someone other than the last pusher. So this would put it into a queue and someone on their end would have to approve this before it got merged with the code. Not every repository has these rules, but this one does. In this video, I've shown you how to fork a repository, make changes, and then create a pull request to merge that your changes back into the original code. This is David. Thank you for watching.